this video, we're going to cover how to create a query in Google Sheets where your criteria is the maximum date value from a date column. And we want to, based on that max date criteria, pull back the detail records. So you can see here I have a data set of loan records and the second to last column is the disbursement date and we want to build a query that pulls back detail records based on the max disbursement date as our criteria from this column. So on a new tab I'm going to begin our query statement. First input is the data we want to query off of. That is the loan detail back on this first tab. So I'm going to click in the top left cell here, hit control shift right arrow and control shift down arrow. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Our next input is our select statement. And that is going to be enclosed in double quotes and begins with the keyword select. So I want to select all the columns in our output. So I'm going to say select star. And then in our where condition, we want to pull back the maximum date from column F, the disbursement date. So after our equal sign, we have to begin with the keyword date because we're dealing with date values here and date criteria in the query statement has to be enclosed in single quotes so I'm going to begin with a single quote and now here is where things get a little different we need something dynamic to pull back the maximum date from column F so I have to temporarily come outside of our select statement so I'm going to end that with a double quote and then I'm going to use the and symbol to join it to the max function and reference the sheet we're on now loans and then I want to pull the maximum date value from column F now in addition to that the output of this max date function is not formatted the way that the query function needs needs it to be to recognize it as a date so what we also need to do is nest the output of this max function within the text function so the text function has two inputs the number you want to be formatted which is the output of our max function. So we already have that argument. And then the second argument is the format we want that to be in. Well, for the query statement, it needs to be in the format of four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. And that needs to be enclosed in double quotes. So now we have the output of that max function from column F formatted in a way that the query will recognize this as a date value. So don't forget that one, we need to go back into our select statement. We came out of it when we ended this double quote here. And two, we need to end our date with a single quote. So I'm going to use an and symbol to join this back to our select statement, reopen our double quote add a single quote and then another double quote to end our select statement. So we come to our last argument which is the number of row headers we have in our data set which is one. So I hit enter and you can see this pulls back four rows and indicates that the max disbursement date in our data set is April 23rd 2021. So if I go and filter on our date column, the filter will order it from oldest to newest. You can see the last value in our date column is April 23rd, 2021. So that is working. So now if I change one of these values to a higher date, I'll just change this one to April 24th, our query updates automatically so we have a dynamic query that will always pull the maximum date value from our data set so that is how you can build a query that will always pull back 
a maximum date from a date field based on max date criteria. 